Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? <laughs> Go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> Good job. Now, Tiddles is safe. And everyone is having a great time. <laughs> Whee! 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 Let's make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over and then lift it off. Ta-da! And now, you can knock it down. I love sandcastles. Hello, Mr. Bull. What is going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. Oh, we won't delay you any longer. You must be busy. Uh, is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. We will. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Ooh, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, your majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. Mmm. This ice cream <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> More, please. <laughs> I like being a queen. 
I'm sure you would make a great queen, Peppa. <laughs> Look, George, it's an enormous dinosaur. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George. It's a real dinosaur, one that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. <gasps> the moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please!
to him. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. <laughs> Let's play <laughs> with this. Oh, would you mind turning <laughs> it back on so I can read? <laughs> Thank you. Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. That's my mum's car. She's here to pick me up. Would you like to come with us and play at my house? That sounds like a good idea. Molly Mole's house is a lot of fun. You'll see. Peppa, hello Molly, and hello new friend. Can Peppa and her friend come back to our house to play? Of course they can. Have you asked Mummy and Daddy Pig? Can we please go, Mummy? Oh, all right. Just remember to behave, children. to play with hula hoops. You're very good, Peppa. <laughs>
It's my favorite doll. Do you like it? It's very pretty. My grandpa is a sailor. Let's go this way. Shiny! You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. Oh, we won't delay you any longer. You must be busy. Uh, is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. We will. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Pepper's house. Back home. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? What are you doing, George? Dinosaur. <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Super Potato! Here's the power <laughs> of vegetables! <laughs> Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. He <laughs> 
visit my granny and grandpa. Their house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry, Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm, is there a way to go oh, through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Pepper's house. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig? Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. 
Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! I'll definitely skip the second round. <laughs> You're a tomato now. Wow, a pumpkin. <laughs> Well, Pepper, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pools. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. We got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh.